The Oregon House Committee on Housing is keeping a close eye on when the eviction moratorium expires at the end of this month. The mission ahead, how to get rental assistance out to people who need it before then. Our Lindsay Nadrich listened in on that hearing and Lindsay, uh, they raised some big concerns about what could happen July 1st. Yeah, one person who testified compared the situation the state is in to watching a train wreck happen in slow motion. So many people need rental assistance, and the state is having a hard time getting the funding out to people in time, and they're quickly running out. That deadline is fast approaching. The eviction moratorium expires June 30th, so people will have to pay rent in July, and many are still waiting for assistance they've applied for through both the Landlord Compensation Fund and Oregon's Emergency Rental assistance program. At the hearing, one committee action agency member said he just wants to prepare everybody for the reality that there's very likely going to be a significant eviction event next month. House committee members pushed the Oregon Housing and Community Services leadership for answers about when funds will go out to those facing eviction. I am very concerned about what happens on July 1. You know, this program had a had a relatively late start date of May 19th, and um, you know, I've got some questions about how much time it's going to actually take to get dollars into people's hands, and whether that's going to start happening on a meaningful basis before July 1. Representative Julie Fahey is talking about Oregon's emergency rental assistance program, which covers up to 12 months of unpaid rent, three months of future rent and utilities for tenants. The department issuing those funds said agencies are just starting to cut checks to people this week and couldn't say whether of all of the money will go out to people by that July 1st deadline. We also learned today 65% of funds have gone out through the landlord compensation fund, but again, a lot of landlords still waiting. I should also mention round three of applications for that funding are now open. Reporting live, I'm Lindsay Natterich, Point Six News.